This is our third try of beaded cross stitch. Good afternoon. Welcome to my channel. Today is in, <clears throat> is the thirteenth of June, two thousand and twenty-four. I am back home, and we're giving going to give it a go now. I have to go down here. The, I really don't know how I can get you any closer or, or what can I do to help the situation because I'm on the edge of the table. Okay, so that, that came over here, so I have to go down there. I saw Natalie doing this, and that's where I got the... Um, Let's see if this will work. If I put, um, okay, then I'm going to need a different color over here. No, I have to, I have to come closer to the edge of the table <clears throat> because otherwise I can't reach on the back of it. I do apologize. We will get, um, actually, I should have put the tripod on the, um, on the frame itself, and I would hold it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next is a different symbol, which I didn't use yet. I think it's number 13. Um, I did put it out here. So this is a another, um, see these are pearls. Rather than the crystal um, beads, the other ones had, and this is a nine count. So I am, um, working without my magnifying glass. Let me put it this way. I'm trying to work and I'm trying to show you what I am doing. Perhaps this is a bit better. I know the angle is not exactly good, <clears throat> but if I bring you the other way, um, the problem is that I will fall off the table. Not to me. The frame will fall off the table. Okay, and then we have to go to the next color. Nope, let's just leave it over here. Let's go to the next color. Um, I had a problem because I printed out uh, the labels and it did not match um, the symbols on here. So I had to frame it a different way. Now I need a number six. And uh, if I'm going to dump all of these pearls, I am going to have a nervous breakdown. Oh, this is number six. We need to put it there. Um, the yarn came together with the kit. I love it that it's not the fishing yarn, which I cannot use. The invisible yarn is so wonderfully invisible that I cannot see it. So I have a feeling this is going to work finally.
I should have gone into a, a straight line. In my opinion, with the beading, it doesn't work to jump all over the place. So this is a blue cross, and that was number 13, we said. After a while, you do get used to which symbol is which color, in my opinion. So that was a blue cross, which was number 13. Okay. And then I'm going to go back here, which I should have done. Um, you, you only need a single stitch, but it should always go in the same direction. And mine goes from left to right, or from right to left if I turn it over. Well, you know what I mean. So this was a uh, blue cross, what, number 13? Now the symbol over here is a straight line. But over here is a blue cross. You see what I mean? So follow the symbols over here on the pattern. And that will make life a lot easier. I try to follow the symbols, you know, turn it over, and then, no, follow over here on the pattern on that side, the ledger, and then it will work just fine. As I said, supposedly this is a nine, nine count, so I am able to see it without um, using my magnifying thingamajigger. So as, I, as we said, this is number 13 because it's another blue cross. And then next to it is number six, I believe, with yes. You see, after a while, you're going to catch on to the symbols. Um, I would love to see what color, you know, we get with the um, roses. Now down here, I should finish this row. And this was a um, yellow sun or whatever, a dot, dot. That, that. It's a number six, but over here, number six is an upside down three. So definitely go by the symbols on the, um, the ledger over there. Okay, all this talking, I'm going to get confused. Okay, and we said this was number six. Of course, it's a green color. Okay, let's, 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 let's find the hole, which is not as easy as it sounds. So, come here, let's not get difficult. No. I'm very happy that finally I am able to do a beaded one, because I was very disappointed that I tried um, actually three times, so this is our fourth try, because one beaded one was like a, a bookmark or whatever that thing was. Okay, so this is a blue cross, which we said was number 13. And then we go with the uh, number six, with this dot. See, if I can remember it, you can remember it, because my mind is mush. I already have my first sunburn of the season. Every year, I get one. Yes, let's try to pull our thread. The thread is very good. Um, I tried using it without waxing, and then I decided to wax it. And we said this was number six, the yellow dot. And we need two of that, so one. And then, actually, I think if I would have put this um, canvas in my, um, what do you call it, the, um, um, you know, the frame that you roll, you know, the, the one that the little girl is on. Coming along, I got to the bottom of it. Go yay! Okay, 
So we said we need two of that, so we need one more of the same color. And then on the next row, I'm going to go from the top down because, because I can. <laughs> no, actually, we can go from the bottom up, but I see the hole better from the top down. So as long as it goes from left to right, you know, it all uh, slants the same way, it's fine. Oh, I'm very happy I saw this. Um, I saw Natalie's um, unboxing, and she had another one with beads, with the regular beads that I already have three of that didn't work. And then she showed this one with the uh, pearls. This one is playing Catch Me If You Can. I caught it. And I said, well, it's a nine count, and the pearls look a little bit bigger um, than, um, you know, what I was trying to work with. Um, so I said, well, let's give it one more try. And I'm so happy because I really wanted to learn how to do this. I learned how to do counted. We're going to have a beautiful one. The first one that I kitted up, I cut my own um, Ada. It's an Ada 14 count. I kitted up with it with uh, DMC um, yarn. I had to order it online because the yarn store over here in the tiny city closed. I don't know why. I sewed the edge of the um, Aida. Um, over here, we call it the diaper stitch. I think it's called the blanket stitch, something like that. So it doesn't ravel. Did I put the wrong one there? No, because it's the number six. Yeah, when I yak it, yak, I can get confused. Actually, there's only two colors over here, but from what I can see. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in the next row. It is slow going, but then I am in no particular hurry to, you know, I mean, the idea is to enjoy it. So this moon, this sun is number six. Um, the pearls are all the same size. They did have quite a bit of static in the bags. Um, other than that, there was no problem with it. As I said, there is 22 colors, so it's going to be beautiful. The canvas itself is glittery, which we love. We love the bling, 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 you know. So I think once I have a little, <clears throat> a little bit of um, a positive experience,
Thomas, as I said, beautiful, and it is glittery. Very nice. Very surprised, positive. So we have a blue cross, and we said that was number 13. I ordered these, 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 these trays from Timu. Some things are really fantastic from Timu. So far, I haven't seen any junk. One I had problem with because I didn't read um, the size properly, the rings for my flaws. Okay, this is a sun, which is number six. A sun, which is number six. Let me find a corner right there. It looks like I'm placing them in the right place because it looks good. And then we have a red X in the next row, which is number seven. I have it over here somewhere, number seven. And just one of these. Uh, my neighbor. The only thing we need now is the side rent, you know. And I see that there's one next to it. You see? I think this is why it was said we should go in a row rather than trying to jump here and there. And that's number 13 because it's a blue cross. We have already established that. Did I come up? Yes, I came up. And there's there's a hole for me to go down. Go down. That's it. You see? And there's another one over there. So let's not skip all over the place. Just go nicely in one row. And then the yellow sun, which is number six. See, after a while, you get, um, you know, which symbol. But definitely go by the ledger on the side over there. That one right there, because that makes sense. Okay, now this is not straight. I don't know why. So let's try to put the next one next to so it. Maybe that will um, nudge it in the place. And we said that was number 13, the blue cross. They're two stuck together. Yeah. Where's the hole? I know there's a hole somewhere. Okay. Let's go down there. And we come up on the top of the right hand side of the square and go down and the bottom toward the left. That's another blue cross. And then we have a number six over there on the end. Now I wonder if I should just go straight like that. Hmm? Or should I go up? Okay, so that's number six. There's a hole somewhere. And we go down on the bottom corner. Or maybe I should go straight up? I don't know. Well, let's go straight up. Because I might get a different color. So, from the top, and this is uh, number seven. Number seven is the darker X. There's three colors of the X. So, we should be careful, um, you know, that we're putting the right color. And then we have the sunshine over there. 
which we have established is number six. See what I mean? Um, I don't see that much um, confetti so far, of course, that I would not be able to um, keep track of which symbol is which color. That's number six. And then we have another blue cross, which we said was number 13. Okay, and that's number 13, it's a darker blue. I think with uh, these different shades of uh, green for the leaf, really makes it beautiful. I don't think there's any backstitching. I, I doubt if there, if there would be backstitching with pearls, hmm? I mean, how? I don't think so either. I don't mind backstitching. I mean, I. At first, I was like, what is this? You know, just follow along. There are wonderful YouTube videos that uh, we can check up on. And we said the sun is number six. And my hands are going numb. I'm rather limited as to how much I can stitch. Because I do have a problem. Okay, let the needle find the hole. Okay, and then what is that there? Uh-huh. That's a number seven over there, I see. Yeah. So definitely, I think I should go from the right to the left uh, instead of, um, you know, jumping all over the place. And we need to go down there. And then we have another number 13 right there in the middle. Yeah. Okay. It's number 13. And we have completed, I think, one leaf. And I don't see any gaps or anything else that might give us grief. So let me just go up here. And then continue with, um, with what I was saying. Let's go in a straight line. This is a sunshine symbol right there with the bottom right there. And then we have another number seven next to it. Oh, lay flat. Come on, let's not get hysterical over here. Yeah. So, um, I would say, the number seven, I would say this is a, would be for me, a different method of uh, stitching. It's definitely fun. Okay, and that's a blue cross there. Yeah. If I jump uh, over here and over there, that just makes it um, more difficult for me and easier to make a mistake, in my opinion. I'm, you know, I'm talking about myself and how I work and... Um, I don't think there's anything over there. It's there. It's there. Yes, there is. 
There is a number eight. A number eight next to that one. Okay, let me find a hole. Number eight, not open. Is that a pearl? I think what? Number eight, which is a lighter X. And let me find a hole right there. And then we have and then we have I'm looking for the hole. Is this it? Dark number seven. Number seven. Okay, let me see. And then we have a number eight next to it. from there because I can't I can't see it I think it would be better to start from the top down and then go in a straight line okay and then we have sunshine And our sunshine is number six. Number six, right there. And we have another sunshine next to it. Where's the hole? Come on. Mm -hmm. Hang in there. I got it. And that's another number six. Got to find a better way to position the camera. It's not very good. And then we skipped on the side. Is a number 13. 13. Go down there, and there's another 13 over here. Right there. Looks like on the edge, there's the, um... Well, actually, no. I thought on the edge it would be darker green, but no. It's a combination of different um, variations of the green color. Number 13 down there. And I think I'm going to need to um, thread another needle. I don't make very short thread because it is a nine count, so that will use a lot of thread, you know. And we can just fit that one with the corner right there. it. So thank you very much for spending time with me this Thursday afternoon for our beaded cross stitch. Stay safe, stay healthy, be happy. See you later on. Goodbye. Mwah. Bye.